April is Donate Life Month. Did you know that well over 100,000 people are on the National Transplant Wait List? 17 people die each day waiting for an organ transplant, and every nine minutes a new person is added to that waiting list. Dr. Lee Cummings, a transplant surgeon at St. Luke's Health System, is here to explain the importance of becoming an organ donor. Doctor, thank you first off for being with us so much. Who exactly can become a donor? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, anyone can become a donor. Certainly, uh, certain things have to be taken into consideration, including age, medical history, what have you. But anyone can become a donor. And are there any myths surrounding organ donation? There certainly are. I think uh, uh, two in particular come to mind. Uh, one is that if you do sign up to become an organ donor, that in some way the medical community won't necessarily you know, do all the things necessary to save you, but rather let you die and take your organs. I think that's something that's certainly entirely false. Um, organ donors are treated like any other patient, where we do everything we can to save that person. If they can't become, that they can't be saved, rather, uh, that's when the organ donation process starts. And why do you think that this is so important? I think it's important because, you know, these types of myths persist even to today. And I think the more education we can get out there so that people know about it, it's important because we have such a, a big disparity between patients who need a transplant and the amount of transplants that we do every year. The primary limitation being lack of suitable organs. You know, we have about 107,000 people on the waiting list at any one time. But if you look at the trends nationally, historically, we've done about 35,000 transplants a year, which pales into comparison. I mean, last year happened to be a record year, about 40, 41,000 transplants, but we still have that big gap. So anything we can to dispel myths like that would be very helpful to what we're trying to achieve, which is to help more people. Absolutely, that makes perfect sense. And if one of our viewers out there is watching and they want to help out, what exactly is the process for becoming a living donor? Well, if you want to become a living donor, first of all, that takes a lot of metal for somebody to want to do that. The first thing you typically do is that you reach out to a transplant center. Uh, most transplant centers like ours have living donor coordinators and an online uh, portal where you can put in your information if you wish to become a donor. Thereafter, the transplant center will discuss things with you, make sure you're an eligible donor. Um, from there, typically, uh, there's some basic blood testing, looking at blood type and then a cross match with the intended recipient if you have one. And then from there, there's a rigorous testing process where um, you go through a history and physical, meeting various physicians, social workers, dietitians, financial coordinators, what have you, the whole spectrum of people involved in the process. And then at the end of that process, if you are an eligible donor, then you can move forward with the donation process. Wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us and educate us on this topic. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. And to learn more about organ donation, go to stlukeskc.org to sign up to become an organ donor. Visit organdonor.gov slash sign up.